begin our series Around the Horn, baseball history in the region. We start with Pynchon Park in Springfield. Before its fiery end in the 1960s, it was a home to minor league teams for the Cubs and the Giants and to many other sporting events. Connecting Point producer Dave Fraser spoke with longtime Springfield Republican sports writer and editor Gary Brown and Guy McLean, director of the Lyman and Mary Wood Museum of Springfield History, to relive some of the memories of Pynchon Park. Originally, Pinchon Park was called Hamden Park. It was established in 1857. It's very close to the North End Bridge. It was a stretch of land of, uh, of, a, of approximately 40 acres. And of course, this is before automobiles, uh, so people needed something that was fairly close to the center of the city. Uh, that location in the North End, right along the Connecticut River, was a perfect location for the park. Its primary purpose in the early days was for horse racing. Then later on, uh, bicycle racing became a huge sport uh, in the 1880s and 1890s. And of course, uh, Springfield, a, a native citizen of Springfield, George Hindy, who later went on to found Indian Motorcycle, was a great bicycle racing champion in the 1880s. As football started to become a very popular sport in the 1880s and 1890s, uh, many great football games uh, took place at Hamden Park. And the, the most famous in that time period were the football uh, games between Harvard and Yale that took place at Hamden Park. Harvard would come out on the, on the train from Boston and Yale would come up uh, on the train from New Haven. The first thing I saw at Pension Park was a high school football game on a Sunday afternoon, oddly enough. Uh, the cathedral played St. John's of Worcester, and uh, the cathedral had uh, Denny Denault, who went on to be a great player at Wesleyan, and he ran all over that field. They won 45 to nothing or something. You know, it's one of those games you don't forget, my first one. Baseball started to take off as America's uh, national pastime in the late 19th century, and baseball games uh, were held there all the time and uh, a series of baseball teams uh, played there. Various minor league baseball teams were, were there. The Chicago Cubs and then later the San Francisco Giants. Bob Bishop threw a no-hitter. It's the only no-hitter the Giants ever had in nine years. And so I saw that one. Two to nothing game, it was over like in an hour and 12 minutes or something like that. Try that now, you know. <laughs> If you cared about baseball and, and you followed these players, you know that, I mean, they were really good players coming here. In 1962, when the Giants, San Francisco Giants, played in the World Series, they had 10 players who had been developed in Springfield, including Juan Marichal, who's a Hall of Famer. I look at the, you know, that, I think it's the WMAS Tower. That was right behind the center field wall. And if you could hit a ball to that, tower, you were really hitting something. It was like 440 feet. The biggest crowd I've ever seen there, 1951, the Red Sox came and played an exhibition game. They had Ted Williams and all those guys, and uh, they drew close to, above 10,000, probably closer to 11, and they came back the next year and did the same thing. The fire uh, that burned down the stadium in 1966 was, was really terrible. It was discovered two boys were playing across the street and noticed some smoke uh, and called the fire department. By the time they got there, uh, the, the stadium, which was an old wooden stadium that goes back to 1909, so it was really very old, uh, started going up very, very quickly. And within 30 minutes, the entire stadium was burned to the ground. Practically nothing was, was left. You know, I certainly remember that day and Sam Pompey, who uh, one of my best friends, he, he was there and he told me that the fire burned so hot that the cars across the street were getting paint peeling off their cars, off the hoods. Since baseball left, or at least minor league level baseball left Springfield in the 1960s, we haven't had anything since. It would be nice uh, to see baseball return in some form uh, to the city of Springfield. Uh, it's a great sport, it's a great summer activity, and it'd be wonderful to have a baseball team come back to the city uh, in the present day. <laughs>